Good morning and welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. Here's the seafood news for the week of July 22, 2015. It's no breaking news that the Bristol Bay Sockeye Run peaked just as quickly as the run declined on July 4th. Through Monday, July 15th, the Bristol Bay Sockeye Run was at 22.8 million fish. Fleets have been pulling their boats and processors have posted prices. $1.50 a pound seems to be the dock price for Bristol Bay Sockeye, up about 50 cents over the last two years. One processor is offering a 15 cent per pound bonus on what they consider best fish, which is fish chilled at point of harvest. That same processor we are seeing is also offering 5 cents for bleeding. Over in Togiak, there's confirmation a processor is paying $1.20 a pound for delivered sockeye, which is iced and bled. There has been a shortage of sockeye salmon directed for the canned market. Sockeye not destined for the canned market are destined for the fresh market. Processors that have been filleting sockeye are now realizing that they are short on product for themselves, as the Bristol Bay sockeye catch came up very short. In-house smokers are coming up short on sockeye supply for their smoking programs, and we are hearing they're not even selling any to traders. Japan had been holding off on purchasing sockeye as they were offering too low a price, but now realize as well that product might be coming up short. Alaskan packers are considering raising prices, but they are also saying they need product for their own uses instead. The pending MSC RFM certification on salmon in Alaska is creating some challenges in the market as end users are still demanding MSC fish. Until the process is complete, expect this to have some impact. For example, further processors state that it, that it deflated the value of pink salmon to be to the level of non-MSC fish from Russia. Through producers, though producers in Alaska are still expecting the $500 per metric ton variance. Now let's move a little bit on to pink salmon. Pink salmon catches seem to be strong, but prices are higher than expected. The prices of pinks are high in Alaska, much higher than buyers in Asia are willing to pay. Just like sockeye, these pinks are destined for the canned market until sales are substantiated and finalized at the higher prices that the Alaska is hoping to get. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.